it's January, it's winter, and it's still too early to plant seeds for the garden. Our last frost date is around May 15th. Even if I can sneak things into our unheated greenhouse or cold hardy crops into the garden in the middle of April, that's still four months that I'm gonna have to keep them alive and happy inside. So I'm gonna hold my horses for another couple of weeks but there are still a few seeds that I like planting in January to eat fresh over the winter, and we're gonna look at those today. So the first plant I'd recommend are annual herbs. Great for eating fresh. You can eat them whether they're this big or they're this big. I grow these plants not to go in the garden, but the ones that I do start inside early are ones that I can eat in the restaurant right now. Here we have some dill, some cilantro, some basil, and then there's some red vein sorrel that's just coming up. I planted these couple of weeks ago and just put a pinch of each of the seeds in the pots and grew them under lights. They don't grow super fast. They like to be warm. They like to be lit. They like to be watered well. Keep an eye on them for pests. I find aphids and other things will get into this kind of plant really easily because they sort of are soft and succulent. Start them in something that's big enough that they can grow quite a bushy top and then just cut the whole thing down and eat it. So another seed I'd recommend growing is mini tomatoes. So these are a special kind of tomato that have been bred to have a very, very small growing habit, but still to produce quite a large number of fruit. So they're called micro tomatoes or dwarf tomatoes. I have two different types here today. One is called mini bell and the other one is called orange hat. Interestingly enough, these types of tomatoes they're not like a typical determinant tomato. So in a typical tomato, it'll get to a certain size and then it will stop growing and it'll fruit. And these are often called bush tomatoes. We grow them in buckets in the summer. These dwarf tomatoes actually act more like an indeterminate tomato where they'll continue to produce fruit for quite a long time. They'll grow to a certain height, which is often only like a foot or 18 inches high. So they'll continue and continue and continue and be quite prolific producers for how small they are. 65 days to maturity, maybe I'll have tomatoes in March. May be a little bit longer because indoor conditions might not be as good as outdoor conditions are, but if I have them under grow lights or in our sunny back atrium, then we might be able to, to get some early. At least even if they were in April, even if they were in May, that would be amazing. So I'm gonna plant these tomatoes in four inch pots and then I'm gonna pot them up. So four seeds in each of these containers. So there you go. And then a third plant that you can grow inside right now to eat are green onions or chives or onions. The other thing I have here growing is garlic chives. So I don't have any garlic chives in the garden, just regular chives, but I'd really like a nice big patch. I planted a few of the seeds just in this pot just to get them going early. And these are the kinds of things that you could start harvesting and eating sooner than later as they get bigger. Um, and you could harvest from these for a little while once they get a little bit bigger, then you can plant them directly out in the garden. They're a perennial crop that'll grow year after year after year. You can keep them alive easily in a sunny window. Even though warmer temperatures are a long way away, it's nice to see things that are green, to taste those green flavors, to be able to use them in the kitchen right now. These are just fun winter projects. So I really encourage you to throw some seeds in a pot and see what happens.